One of the most talked about pageants in the world has officially started since Miss Grand International welcomes this week all of its delegates in Vietnam. It's kind of a hot topic on whether or not Miss Grand International has achieved the status of one of the big four pageants in the world, so let me know in the comment section if you believe that this is the case. For today's video, I'm going to be presenting to you my top 12 early favorite candidates that in my opinion have what it takes to bring home the golden crown. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure that you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and be part of the conversation in the comment section down below. I will see you with my entire top 12 picks right after the intro. Let's get right into it. The first candidate that I want to highlight is Miss Grand India. Of course, her name is Archina Sumbul. And honestly, my expectations this year for India are really off the roof. When we think about the history of India at Miss Grand International, they don't necessarily have the best track record, which is kind of surprising since India can be considered a powerhouse in many, many different pageant systems. However, they haven't really managed to crack the code for Miss Grand International. Well, Archina, in my opinion, might have what it takes to change history for India. So far, I'm extremely pleased with everything that I have seen from her in terms of walk, presence, confidence, eloquence. She checks all the boxes. And she also goes into this competition with some solid experience since she has previously competed at Glamour and Supermodel as well as Miss Diva in 2021. Moving on to number 11 on the list, we have Czech Republic. Her name is Sofia Osako and I really love the youthful looks that she brings to the table on this year's edition of Miss Grand International. Initially, when I first saw her, I thought that she looked too young almost for the stage of Grand, but after I was able to look at her personality a little bit, I think that she has, you know, between the fresh looks and the very mature personality she balances herself very very well we need to highlight the fact that she has some big shoes to fill since czech republic has been doing extremely well not only at miss grand international but also in other pageants around the world so i think that the attention will definitely be on her especially when it comes to girls coming from europe but i'm pretty sure that she has what it takes to handle the pressure she actually has a multicultural background since she is half japanese and half czech she describes herself as an athlete and during her free time she loves to volunteer what do you think does she have have what it takes to be the next Miss Grand. Next on the list at number 10 we have Spain. Her name is Celia Sevilla and she is a very clever woman since she holds a double degree in law and international relations. Similar to the case of Czech Republic I think that she also has that duality between her looks and her behavior. She gives me more of a youthful type of look but a very mature and well-behaved attitude. This is truly why she managed to catch my attention which honestly is kind of surprising since she is only 22 years old. I mean at such a young age she's already conquering Miss Grand International. From head to toe I love every Everything, the facial beauty, physical beauty, styling, you name it. So I'm really looking forward to see her performance at Miss Grand and how she will go head to head against all the Glamazons. At number nine on the list, we have Vietnam, Le Hoang Phuong, who is a 28 years old architect and professional model. All I can say about this girl is that she truly screams MGI. She is the prototype. She looks exactly like the typical woman that I would imagine will do extremely well at Miss Grand International. So I'm really happy to see that she's going in with such a strong presence. She was recently crowned in the month of August and ever since all eyes have been on her. I think that it's important to highlight that she is really going above and beyond to give her everything in terms of her preparation, her styling, her presence. And I think this is actually necessary since Vietnam just won the pageant uh, two years ago in 2021. So it's not necessarily a back to back but still a very difficult victory to pull in such a short amount of time. Number eight on the list, let's highlight Indonesia. Ritasia Wellgrade is only 22 years old and she is already a professional accountant. She has the task to represent Indonesia at Miss Grand International which honestly I think it's a huge pressure for her because historically Indonesia has done really well at Miss Grand International. I have the impression that it's one of the pageant systems that Indonesians love the most. So going into this competition it's actually a very big deal for her. When you think about it, Indonesia Indonesia won in the past a Miss Grand International crown and they also held the pageant last year for their 10th anniversary. So it's very safe to say that not only they have a very close bond with the country, but also the locals really appreciate the pageant. One secret advantage that she might have is her experience since she previously competed at Putri Indonesia in 2019 and she managed to crack the top 11. This is huge considering that Putri Indonesia is the most respectable national pageant in Indonesia. So let's see how much she has grown ever since and how she will perform at Miss Grand. 
At number seven on the list, we have Ecuador, represented by Andrea Ojada Fernandez, who is actually replacing Veronique Michelsen. Andrea was appointed to represent Ecuador after Veronique informed the organization that she was pregnant, therefore she wouldn't be able to fulfill her duties as a Miss Grand Ecuador. But this is definitely not a reason to panic six. Andrea has everything that it takes to represent the country proudly. Borderline, I even think that she might be a stronger contender for the crown than Veronique possibly was. She has all of the attributes that MGI absolutely loves. She's beautiful, she's charismatic, she has that very commercial vibe, very commercial aura. Her performance on stage is also amazing, so I'm sure that she will have the MGI fans asking for more. At number six on the list, we have Peru, represented by Luciana Fuster. Luciana is a radio presenter, television figure, businesswoman, influencer, and she graduated with studies in communication science, this woman can definitely do it all. During her national competition, Luciana managed to impress everyone with her cutwalk, strong communication skills, as well as her charming personality. And one thing that I have noticed myself is that she really managed to win the fandom's heart. Everywhere that I see a post where her name is in there, or even if she's not on the list, the comment section is always talking about Luciana. For me personally, this is something that Nawat might really like, because he tends to gravitate towards queens who are praised by the public, while simultaneously simultaneously bringing in the commercial aspect and financial aspect for the organization. As of right now, the only thing that I can think of that Luciana needs to do is to focus on her performance, just stay as consistent as she is right now, because she has everything in favor. So uh, if she really works for it, the crown might be hers. At number five on the list, we have Thailand. Her name is Tawi Porn Fing Shamrat, and this year she has the huge task of representing Thailand. Miss Grand Thailand is possibly the biggest national franchise of the entire international competition. They put so much effort into the production, finances, and you know, it's just another level. I think that also Miss Grand Thailand is kind of the blueprint for what Miss Grand International looks for uh, in terms of performance, even in terms of presence on stage. A lot of the girls and a lot of these tricks of the girls like yelling and making fun stuff on stage comes from Miss Grand Thailand. However, as surprising as that might be, Thailand has never managed to win a Miss Grand International crown just yet. But Tawi Porn might be the right lady to get the job done, since this 27 years old has graduated with a bachelor's degree in business management and also majored in human resources management. So this is a very smart girl. She currently works as an advertising model as well as an influencer. What I can say about her is that she has both the presence of a queen as well as the commercial appeal, which I mean, I think is super important as Miss Grand International more than other things, which means that she will be an excellent title holder and also bring money into the organization, which is always the ultimate goal. Besides, she would definitely make the Thai fans super, super happy, which especially this year might be a strategic move since now there is direct competition within Thailand for Miss Grand since the Miss Universe organization was acquired by a Thai company. Giving the golden crown to their home country might be a great way to solidify the support of the fans. What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's time for Thailand to win a crown? Number four on the list, let's talk about Brazil, Adriana Yansa. Adriana is a 26 years old dentist, nursing technician, and medical student. And this year she is aiming for a back-to-back -back at Miss Grand International, which is definitely not the easiest thing to achieve, not just at Grand, but any international pageant. However, Adriana's potential is undeniable. I think it will be actually harder to get Nawat on board to give, you know, a back-to-back -to, -back to Brazil. But regardless of the challenges, never say never, right? One thing is for sure, her team in Brazil is super, super consistent. They have managed to deliver some of the strongest queens in this year's batch of pageants, not just as Grand again, at many international pageants. So I think that Adriana is definitely going into this competition with the best support system, the best team, if it's written in her future that she might be the next Miss Grand International, then I think that at least she put already all chances on her side. At number three on the list, we have Philippines with Nikki DeMora. Nikki is a professional model, an endorser, and an influencer here in the Philippines, and she managed to take the national competition by storm when she outperformed even some of the fan favorites during the competition. She also has a mixed background since she is half Filipina and half Brazilian, which, hear me out, it might be a a very clever decision for Nawat to give the crown to someone like Nikki because not only he will be repairing his trained relationship with Filipinos, but simultaneously he will be solidifying the relationship that he already built with Brazilian fans and Latin American fans as a whole. In a way, it would kind of be a back-to-back -back for Brazil, 
while simultaneously giving their very first crown to the Philippines. In terms of performance, Nikki really is the full package. She is beautiful, she's likable, she's approachable, she's smart, she delivers on the performers. So I truly don't see any reasons why she wouldn't make it at least into the top five and hopefully, crossing fingers, obtain the first crown for the Philippines. We have all heard about the rumors of the Philippines curse at Miss Grand International, but let's hope that it's a fair competition and that if Nikki delivers, then at least she is rewarded accordingly. At number two on the list, we have another mixed girl. This time around is USA. Her name is Stefania Miranda, 29 years old, and she is half Puerto Rican, half American. Stefania is an influencer, YouTuber, and entrepreneur who represented Grand Lakes at the national competition in the US. She previously competed at Miss USA in 2020, where she placed within the top 16, so very impressive already. I find her so incredibly stunning. She has everything, represents beauty, grace, diversity, all of the things that I love to see represented on stage. And she does so with a lot of glamour and in a very dramatic way, which I think goes very hand in hand with the MGI brand. As of right now, USA might not be the strongest pageant country in the world, especially in terms of hype within the nation. However, if anyone can work on that, it's possibly Stefania. Let's not forget that USA previously won a crown in 2020 with Abina and the current Miss Universe is also from USA. So why not? Maybe if the stars align, she might go home with the second golden crown for USA. And finally, Finally, the time has come to talk about my number one pick at the moment, which goes to Colombia. Her name is Maria Alejandra Lopez Perez. And as of right now, Maria is undeniably the fan favorite of the competition. So she has to be very careful and be extremely strategic with her approach to the competition. In terms of her background, she is an industrial engineer. She speaks fluently English, Spanish, and French. So we have that in common. And she is an avid pageant fan. Are we the same person? I'm just not an engineer though. <laughs> Maria possesses the appeal in terms of her beauty, her charisma, her presence. She also brings the very commercial look that, as I said earlier, you know, not to sound redundant, but MGI loves the commercial look. They love to make money. This is not so much of an advocacy-based pageant, but more of a performance and physical appeal type of pageant. Crowning Colombia will be a great way to solidify the MGI fandom in Latin America, which is one of the most important fan bases in pageantry. I think that they already covered that area a little bit in Asia, so keep on working on Latin America will be a wise decision. For most of the topics that I have seen, everyone is predicting Colombia to be the winner. So this crown is really hers to lose. I hope that she's really laser focused and ready to give her absolute best performance. So there you go, everyone. Those were my top 12 early favorite candidates for Miss Grand International so far. Remember, this is going to probably change in the upcoming days with all of the activities. Remember, let me know in the comment section if you think that Miss Grand International has cracked the status of one of the big four pageants in the world, because I'm currently working on a separate video just about that, and I'm really curious about your input. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, take care and stay safe. Love you guys.